A while ago, one of our music producer friends lent us this very special mic, which we were super curious to try out. It's a Neumann TLM67 that has been modded to become a tube microphone with a circuit design similar to the legendary Neumann U67. The mod kit consists of a module that can easily be swapped with the original electronics. It was developed by Max Kircher and at the time of making this video cost about 1200 euros. We'll put a link in the description with more infos about this mod. The TLM67 is a transformerless solid state microphone built with the same capsule as the Neumann U67. It costs about 1900 euros as opposed to the 7500 euros for a U67. This makes the modded TLM67 for less than half the price seem like quite a bargain. But how does it sound? We put it to the test and compared it to the Slate ML1 emulating the U67. Elizabeth sang her song Expert at Messing Up for the test. The TLM67 went into a warm audio WA73, a Neve 1073 style preamp. The Slate ML1 went directly in one of the preamps of our Fireface UFX and we used a U67 emulation combined with a Neve 1073 emulation. We recorded both microphones at the same time. The only processing we did was a little bit of compression and a combination of reverb and delay, but no EQ. When I tell a joke I forget the punchline When I run to catch the bus can bet it drives off just as I get them done. I never claim to be perfect, and the only thing I'm good at is missing. I'm an expert at. So, how do you like the, the TLM67 compared to the Slate emulation? Oh, I loved it. I actually clearly preferred the TLM. Yes, why? Because for me it just has more personality. Mm -hmm. It kind of, I don't know, it's somehow, for me it's, it's silkier, a very, very elegant sound. I think it just makes me sound very good, which I love. Okay. <laughs> what did you like? To me, it lacks a little bit of high end, which the Slate Emulation has. It is warmer. That is something I really like. What was interesting to me was I expected to be blown away because the U67 is such a legendary microphone. And when I heard it, it, it didn't sound that exciting, that finished. I think it still needs EQ. I would boost uh, the high end a little bit if we would mix it. To me, it's not, it's not something where I have the urge to buy it. Mm -hmm. When I got it in my hands and it, it looks fantastic, I mean, the, the quality of a Norman microphone, build quality is, is fantastic. It looks timeless uh, and I wanted to love it. Mm -hmm. Be because 
it's it's in a price range that isn't that much money. Mm -hmm. Well, considering you preferred the sound of the Slade emulation, I mean, obviously... I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I, I wouldn't say that I preferred it. I liked the top end, but mm -hmm. I didn't like the mid-range. Well, and the question is whether the emulation actually is very close to I, the Neumann sound. I don't think so. I, I think uh, that the, the modded TLM67 is closer. It, I, mean, I mean, it should be because it has their original capsule mm. and... I guess the electronics aren't that far off from the original mm. uh, U67, so I see no reason why it it should be far away from mm. from a original Neumann. And well, but then the conclusion would be that for someone who generally likes the Neumann sound, yes, and who is thinking about buying a microphone, that this would actually be something they could definitely consider. Yes, mm. I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. So uh, please let us know what you think um, and please uh, leave comments in the comment section. One more thing. After discussing our first impressions, we decided to quickly do a frequency analysis of the two vocal takes using Logic's MagicQ. Here you can see how the TLM67 differs from the Slate. The TLM has more bass, about 2 dB less between 800 Hz and 2 kHz, and more presence at about 4 kHz. And in the higher frequencies, the Slate's U67 emulation is noticeably brighter.